Oh, well, that's different. What is up and good morning. We are back home. I just got my coffee as you guys can see and yep Today we're working on a Miata. I Kind of took this car on because um, He was recommended through a friend and so I told him I would look at it I mean, I am like a Nissan and like infinity Toyota guy, but a car is still a car and I understand how they operate. So I told him I'd give him a, uh, give it a look um, and see, he said that the thermostat housing is leaking and there's a couple other little things. So that's on the agenda for today. Um, we're back with raw vlogging it today. Um, we're gonna be probably putting this together a little bit more. I put the wire harness on the engine for that car. Um, we got some new cars in, you guys can see. The silver one is actually a VHR motor. I have to do on it. It was a oil gallery gasket and water pump. And when I took off the pan, it was like big chunks of metal were in there. So um, my dudes over at Sac City Auto are actually gonna be dropping off a motor for that today. So I don't know if we're gonna get started on that. I do have my daughter tonight, so um, that might sit. But we got a couple projects. I haven't really gotten on this at all. As you guys have seen, I've been down with Gary. I was over with Julian. We were doing engines yesterday. Me and Mike were running all over the place. So this car looks just like it did, um, you know, last week in last week's video. So um, all these parts, sorry, I'm kind of giving you guys the rundown just to catch you guys up because it has been a minute. So, okay, back to it. Um, so these parts all came um, for the black car that's out there that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be getting starting on that this week, hopefully knocking that out and getting this done. Um, I still have to do the diff and the other things for this. Um, my dudes over at Society are actually sending me the mounts for the seats. So, um, I mean, I'm super blessed for like, you know, having these great companies working with me. And so we're gonna be able to have those secured mounted um so we're gonna be able to get back on project z hopefully getting this thing running soon um there's really not that much i do have to go out to sac city auto also and pick up like my drive shafts my headlights um and a couple other few like little things so we got a busy week coming ahead of us so anyway we are gonna get started and um yeah let's tear into this miata all right pretty clean doesn't look too difficult. The leak, you can see, it's all green down there. It's coming out of the housing. All right, not too bad. Today might be an easier day. All right, I'm gonna grab this pan. Just getting started, assessing kind of what it all looks like. As you guys know, I'm really not familiar with these, but this isn't gonna be too bad. It's right here, you can see. It's kind of leaking out of the top, what it looks like, crusting up. We might need to just reseal this. Grab my cooling system tester. I'm gonna pressurize the system as if it's running and see if we can figure out where it's actually leaking from. All right, got the tester hooked up. You can see the cap just goes on. You fill it with coolant or water, and then you just start to pressurize it. See if we can't get it to leak. I don't see anything yet. Oh, it's wet underneath though, you can see. So the bottom of it is what's leaking. Maybe because it's dripping on here and it's flinging it everywhere is why it looks so bad. Because it's all over the belts. But it's probably just a little leak underneath here. You can see my glove's wet. Try and dry this off a little bit and make sure. Yeah, it keeps coming up wet. Alright, so we'll pull this off, we'll clean it up, we'll reseal it. And uh, hopefully all this goes away. Loose. Yep, there it is right there. Yep. 
All right, so the mating surfaces I have cleaned off. I'll have to spray that with brake clean, clean it off a little bit more. This one's completely clean. One thing I do like to do, a little trick, um, is since I'm working on, on a hill, I already have an advantage, but I also like to jack the front end up so that way the front of the car is now like this, and so the coolant doesn't want to run out into where I'm putting the uh, silicone gasket. So that's actually a pretty good way of making it where it'll stay back in the housing, just enough for me to secure it, and then we don't have to worry about it, um, you know, running through and creating a hole for it to leak again. So I'm gonna get that gasket maker. Let me show you what it looks like. It's in the green tube right here. You can see for long life, coolant, super long life. All right, so I got it all set up. I have it cut at an angle so I can put it on here nice and clean all the way around. And then we're gonna put this on here and squeeze it together. Okay, as you can see, have it sealed up all the way around. There's no coolant leaking at all. So now we'll just put this on and squeeze this together like so. Grab the bolt. All right, I'm gonna squeeze it together real quick. All right, so all of it squeezed together. When you look on here, you can actually see Everything is squeezed out. There's no coolant dripping within it. Looks good. So we're gonna let it dry before we introduce any coolant to it. All right, and see there's a gardener, there's a gardener. It's gonna be really hard to hear me. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna let it dry for a while. We have a guy coming at 10 o'clock to do a diag. So if they're gone, man, that's annoying. Um, I'll be able to get back on and show you guys, but I'm gonna wait for these guys to leave. All right, dude, just leaving. Uh, it was a diagnosis. He's having problems with his O2 sensor. Um, you can see the gardeners are gone and I've been letting this thing right here just sit dry, um, you know, and make sure that it's not gonna leak again um, for the homie. So um, anyway, that's kind of what's going on with today. I think now it's time to put it on the ground. It's been about an hour. Um, like I said, you can see no gardeners, no annoying noises. Um, and I was sitting there chopping it up with him for a minute, um, you know, just trying to figure out and figure out what's the best course of action for him. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put this on the ground. We're gonna put some cooling in it. We're gonna burp it and we're gonna get this ready to go. I think my dude with the silver G35, I think he's gonna come and pick up the car too. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to keep on rolling. So I need to start putting together the stuff for this car. The transmission is still in there, but I think it's only holding on by like one bolt. So I want to try and get that up here, um, put the clutch together and that type of stuff. Like I showed you guys earlier, that big box of parts is for that car. So um, that'll probably be the next course of action. So, but let's make sure that this is um, all wrapped up, A1 and ready to go. All right. So actually before we get started on that. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more because Amazon just showed up and look what we got. Look, 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 look. So we got a trampoline sprinkler because we're having like a uh, like water party with me and my family this weekend for the 4th of July. And so I told my daughter I was gonna get a trampoline sprinkler for her that goes around the outside. So I think we're gonna go set this up. Like I'm kind of excited about it for her and she's coming over tonight so maybe she can test it out. So we're gonna do this first. And then we'll get back on that. Put this here for the girl. All right, so I'm not done yet, but you can see how this is gonna go. I just need to use the zip ties. You can see there's like tons of holes for it to be secured to the top. But it goes all the way around the trampoline. So this was Ashley's idea to get this and it's gonna be super fun to do. Um, we're also gonna be like renting like a big like blow up like 12 foot slide that has like a pool in the bottom of it. So it's gonna be a good time. I'm really excited about this weekend. All right, so like 1200 zip ties later, you can see it's all the way around. I thought I was sick of zip ties for drift cars. Like, this is ridiculous. So we're gonna get the hose now hooked up to this, and then we're gonna try it. All right, the hose is all hooked up. 
I have a feeling I'm gonna get wet anyway. Oh. oh. All right, so it might be a little hard to see, but all of it's spraying out. You see it's getting soaked. Dang, this is gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna turn it off before I waste a bunch of water. All right, it's time to get back on the car projects, prep the Miata, and get this out of here. So far, so good. No leaks, no issues. A little bit of belt squeal, but that's because I had coolant on it. So, so far, so good. All right, so it's been sitting for about 25 minutes. There's no more air bubbles. Come inside. It's blowing nice and hot. So I think we're about done with this. I'm gonna put it on the ground. We're gonna make sure this is all topped off and this car will be ready to go back home. All right, so this car is all done. Told him to come get it, so he'll come and pick it up tonight. And now I'm hungry, so it's time to get some food, grab some lunch and chill for a bit. And then we're gonna get started, I believe, on this engine, this car and these issues. All right, about to cruise in here. Get a sandwich from the deli here, Rayleigh's, bag of chips or something. All right, just wrapped up eating. I need to actually grab the keys and bring the Miata up again because there's actually um, some headlight issue that I need to look at. I forgot about it. Um, and then when I was going to get lunch, I remembered. So I'm gonna pull it back up. We're gonna check and see what's going on with the headlights and see if we can't uh, remedy that as well. All right, so all the fuses seem good. The wiring. You can see kind of goes it's like one of those cheaper like plug-in ones it goes to the factory so I just changed let me see if this did anything nope still no headlights hmm getting stumped on this I don't know if maybe going back to a factory bulb and just plugging it in to see if it is the ballasts um, that went bad. I don't know if y'all know, but these are like kind of old school. You can buy them, it has these two connectors. I used to have them like back in my Honda days and they would go out like pretty frequently. So it's possible that's the issue, but I'm gonna keep digging a little bit more. All right, so continuing on, I just went and got some basic halogen bulbs um, just to try and see. I'm gonna completely take out the HID stuff out of here and see if we just plug it into the factory harness if these will work. Um, that way we can tell two things, uh, if the ballast were bad or if the factory wiring harness is, you know, going bad. So we're going to do that now, pull that stuff out of there, and then we're going to see how it looks. Okay, so I pulled apart the wiring. I put in just a factory bulb. If I come over here and turn the lights on, you can see that it works. So it's the wiring for the HIDs. There's only one issue now, though, that... I believe this car has been in an accident. These might be a different style of headlights that were retrofitted here um, because inside there, these 9003s aren't gonna fit. So I'm trying to figure out um, with what he wants to do. So at least we know that the harness that goes to the headlights is bad. We just have to figure out now how to make, um, you know, the bulb go into the headlight housing. He might have to get new ones. All right, we're at a stopping point for today. Uh, or at least for right now, I'm gonna go in. I gotta shower, cool off, relax a little bit, um, and then I'm gonna head off to get my daughter. So, for right now, we're stopping. So, I mean, I know the video is still rolling, but yeah, we're stopping for a minute. So, we'll be back right now. And I'm back. I just dropped my daughter off. I got some customers coming. They're gonna come pick up their cars. Um, I was gonna do a little bit more today, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, it's been a long day. It's been a busy day, uh, kind of a hectic day. So I think I'm gonna call it. Um, I'm just gonna spend some time with a girl, go in, eat some dinner, um, and I gotta edit this video. So I don't have a real long you know, exit right now, but I just wanted to thank y'all. I hope you guys are still rocking with the Raw Vlogging It series. I'm really still enjoying doing it. Um, I know lately it's been a little bit busy and hectic for me as well, but um, 
I just want to thank you guys for all the positivity, all the love, all the DMs and everything that you guys always do because it means a lot to me. It keeps me going even when I'm so busy like this. I always tell myself I got to get a video out. I got to make sure that I'm sending, you know, you guys some stuff. Um, I just, I love making it and sometimes just my life gets a little bit too hectic um, to drop it, you know, every other day. But I've been really trying to stay on it. Um, and, you know, like I said, I hope you guys are still digging it. So much love to you. Much love to your families. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Thank <laughs> you.